hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel today we're going to talk all about packaging how did I create my customized candle boxes and my beard oil boxes my thank you cards my candle care cards what do I use we're going to go through the entire process together so stay tuned hello beautiful people today we're going to be talking all about packaging and how i create my boxes and some of my marketing materials because i've received so many questions about where do you get your thank you cards from where do you uh, create your boxes and so i just wanted to show you um where i go in and how i create those specific materials that i'm sending out with my candles or my beard oil so I've talked about U printing before. I actually love the company. The only thing with U printing that I don't care for is the shipping times. So, on my boxes, literally, it took, oh my gosh, over two months to get my boxes for my candles. And that really put me behind and caused me to buy extra materials outside of what I was using to ship my products. So, that wasn't a pleasant experience, but their product is quality. And so that's the only reason I would recommend them is because they do have quality products. So um, they have marketing tools where you can do business cards and brochures and thank you cards and all of that good stuff. You could do stickers and you can do labels and then you have you know the different boxes that you can use whether it's a customized box or a shipping box or a mailer box, whatever you choose. You can do signs and banners. I mean, apparel if you need it for your business and you can do trade show tablecloths and backdrops and banners and all of that good stuff. So everything that you need, you can actually do it on you printing. Um, but today we're gonna talk about boxes and packaging now. U printing does have the ability for you to customize your boxes. You can work with one of their employees, one of their design specialists to help you design a customized box. You can design inserts that fit your product. So once you're mailing them off, you're, you know, they're not jiggling around in the box. Um, that's a good option, of course. This costs more because you're actually using their employees to help you out with this and to, to help you to design it and get things measured properly. Um, so you're going to spend more. But if you're just starting out and you just want, you know, um, nice shipping boxes or mailer boxes for your product, or if you just want a regular, you know, just candle box that you want to design on your own, and you don't have to pay much for it, then you can choose to personalize it yourself. Um, for me and my candle boxes, I chose the corrugated mailer boxes. Candles tend to be very heavy, and instead of always using the USPS boxes, I wanted to make something more customizable um, in the beginning when I was basically getting, you know, one candle jar sale at a time um i created the corrugated mailer box just for that reason corrugated basically means that there's material in between the outside and inside of the box that is very thick um and it's helpful because it's sturdy and it's stable and it can survive the shipping process um so that's why i chose the corrugated mailer boxes so if that you know i'm going to show you what i did and if that's the best thing for you, then, you know, go for it. If you're just looking to create your own candle boxes, then go for it. Um, the prices differ depending on materials and colors and things of that nature. So for me, I created the mailer box because it is um, corrugated. And so I went five by five by five this is going to fit um my candle jars which are the 12 ounce candle jars 
um, and it gives me room to put packing peanuts on the side and in the summer it gives me room to put those um, inserts inside of the box to help the candle to not melt during shipping so that's good um, then here you can choose from premium white corrugated cardboard or the premium white corrugated cardboard with glossy ink I chose the glossy ink because I liked the glossy look over the matte look now for my beard oils um, my kit boxes I did not choose glossy because that's more manly and I feel like that kind of fits that brand better but for my candle brand um, the majority of my consumers or customers are women and I just love anything that's shimmery or glossy or you know things like that so I chose glossy for me personally um, and then I did choose outside and inside color um, and as you can see the price went up from that so if you just do outside only it's cheaper and if you do more boxes it ends up being cheaper per box but you're going to spend more um, at the end of the day so you know it can be quite pricey depending on how much you buy um, and depending on you know the materials now if you just want to test the waters you can pay $8.85 per box and just get 25 boxes just to see how you like them and once you you know feel like okay I love them or maybe I don't really like glossy and I want more of a matte then you can switch it up and and order something different so if you're on a budget just do 25 depending on you know are you selling more than 25 candles a month if you are then you're gonna need to go up um, but if not just do what you can now if you just want a sample box you're gonna just pay $40 but I felt like mm, if I'm paying $40 for one box just to get a sample I could just try my luck and just get the 25 boxes for $8.85 each and then go from there now this is going to take as you can see 20 to 25 business days so that is not including weekends so that puts you out about a month and a week before you actually receive these boxes so that's what I'm talking about with shipping it takes forever for these boxes and I am not fond of that now when you order banners for markets and things like that it does not take that long I literally got my market banners in probably a week and again with the thank you cards it probably took about a week and a half so not too bad there you do have the option of expediting production which would be six to eight business days but then again look how it jumps up so do you want to pay five dollars more per box just to get these in seven days or can you afford to just keep doing what you're doing at the moment and wait um the month and a half to get the boxes it just depends um so then you can either choose order now and receive a die line template i don't really like the die line template because i to be perfectly honest don't really know how to work with it um so i didn't choose that i just chose design my own mailer box and then they give you the die line basically right in their system um, and so this is cool because everything that you do with your box, you can basically see it in real time. So we just chose outside only for color. So the inside would remain white. But again, if you want to color it in the inside, you can. And you can change that if you would like. Um, and how you do that is if you, if you want to change the size or if you want to change the material or whatever it may be, and we want to go outside and inside full color of course again the cost is going to go up but now you get to color it on the outside and on the inside so um you basically can use which i use for a lot of my stuff is canva so i go to canva and in here now you can customize the size of the design and then since our boxes are five by five we're gonna put five by five create new design and 
go into here and let's say for the inside of our box we want it to no maybe not photos oh yeah we can do oh where'd it go okay let's do a pride box on the inside so pride colors in the inside since it is pride month let's just get that like that and then you can go ahead and you can basically just download this as a PNG um, so after that is downloaded then it'll notify you you go back to you printing and then once you're in in we didn't want that to happen once you're in back into you printing you want to go ahead and select your file and it's going to be in your downloads so you're going to choose that Okay. Now, this can be a little bit tricky. Now, if you want the outside of your box to be in these colors, you're going to have to extend it like so. And we're not worried about the hidden area. We just want to make sure that we get it around the edges and the corners um, the right way. So let's do it like that. And we can make this fit here. And then you'll copy it. Oh. And then just keep going like this now that's if you want to completely customize you know the color on the outside you'll have to do it like this and it can be a tedious process but you're making your box customizable so as you can see here you have these beautiful colors on the outside of your box right and then on the inside you can do something different so now we clicked to the inside and say you don't want to do all of that and go to canva and do that all you have to do is go ahead and set your background color and you can make it whatever color you want um and say for this case we're just gonna do yellow boom now you have a yellow box in the inside it's yellow in the inside um, once you're done with that close the lid up and you could continue working on the outside of your box just by clicking on the outside of the box and then you just continue going um, creating your pride colors on the outside um, let's see here like that just to make sure everything is you know aligning well the shapes are the same size you know it doesn't I mean this is just for example purposes um but I think you get the drift you just go in here and just customize it the way you want and then if you want to put you know on the front of your box you just look for the the outside just to make sure no oh, close okay this is the front of the box you see when I click here it'll show you what part of the box it is 
and so you can just go here again copy that bring this down and then you're not going to necessarily want to spread that because it's going to change the shape of everything so just copy it again and put this piece over here make sure it aligns copy this again and bring it over here and make sure that aligns and you can get so creative with this you can do like whatever you want to do um, with your box like it's your box so this is how the outside of the box is going to look and um, then when you open it up it has this nice little yellow color and let's see where this is you want to make sure this has color as well so we're going to copy that and put that here so that that's all colored that way and then these are the side flaps you can make these a different color but you're not going to be able to do that unless you go to canva and you create another square with the color that you're wanting because if you try to set this as a background it can mess everything up i learned that the hard way so i'm just letting you know um so yeah this i mean this is basically a basic kind of example um, and then on the outside of your box, you want to put wording, um, logo, whatever that may be. Um, so let's go here. Canvas changed things up on me in the last day. Uh, so let's go to text. And... I don't know, we can use, let's see, choose whatever text you want. I just click whatever, and you don't have to click the template. I'm just doing this because it's easy. Take that off of there. And I don't know, whatever you want to name it. You can name it. Happy Candle Co. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Change the color of it. You can make it whatever color you want. Um, just make sure you scale it out so that it fits the box. And then you go ahead and you download this. But when you're downloading your logo, it's important that you choose transparent background. Because if you don't, you're going to get that big white block. And I'm sure you know that if you already use Canva. So you just download that. And then, why is it doing that? Download that, go back to U printing. Then, where do we want it? Not the front, no, no. Oh, you can zoom too. That's not what we wanna do though. Hold on, where's the front of the box? Outside back wall. No, what is this? Where is the front? Top. Outside bottom. Okay. This, you can put your logo on the front. You can put it on the top. You know, whatever you want to do. Anyway. Um, let's go ahead. Where's the thing? Oh, my computer's going so slow. You can also add text using just their regular text but most people you know just kind of want to do their own thing so you can add your logo 
instead of using what they're using. So we're making this happy candle co today. And this is the front wall and you can spread this out and make it bigger so that it fits the entire front part of the box. And just make sure it's aligned. And then go here. <laughs> Wait, where is the front? We don't want that there. We want it on the front. Outside left wall, outside right wall. Outside, we don't want it on the back. Okay, there's the top. Now we're gonna get it to the front. There we go. Listen, even though I've done this before, <laughs> I still get turned around, but you get the drift. So, boom, happy candle co. Then you're gonna put some stuff on the side. We are happy candle co, whatever your tagline is. Put your social media on the back, put a little bit about your candle, put at the bottom that these boxes are actually recyclable because they are. When you open up the lid, you can actually put a little message there as I've done with my candles. Just put some text there, we're gonna make it easy this time and say, click in there and we're gonna say, because we're happy candle co we want our customers to keep smiling right all right now you can change the font you can make it bigger you can make it smaller you can change the color keep smiling and if you want it to be this crazy fine you can do that and if you want it to be white instead of black, you can do that, but it's not going to really show up too well on that yellow, so you can make it orange or whatever you want to do. Um, it's just, like I said, personal preference. Um, so yeah, so then you do that. You go ahead and save your project. After you save your project and you're aligned with, okay, I want 25 boxes and this is good for me, you go to add it to cart. And after you add it to cart, you want to always select, send me a PDF proof of approval. Because if you select contact me only if there is a problem, more than likely, they're not gonna feel like there's a problem and they're just gonna go ahead and print it and you're gonna be on the hook for payment and all of that. So click send me a PDF proof for approval. So then you click save and continue. And then after that, you're gonna have your box, you're gonna have your box price and then they are going to reach out to you after you have made the um, the paint. So you basically pay for your product and then after that, and you also have to pay for shipping. So this can get, you know, quite pricey depending on um, what, if you order in a small amount, it's gonna be really, really expensive. Um, but if you order more, again, the price continues to go down the more um, that you order. So, after you do that, they're going to go ahead and send you an email with the PDF proof and you're going to approve it or you're going to decline it. So once they send you the email, they'll also send you a text if you provided your phone number. And let's see here if I can show you how it looks when I go to order status.
Come on. You guys, I have no idea what's going on with my computer today. I'm going to have to go to the Apple store and get this checked out because I don't know if it's my internet, if it's the website, or if it's my computer, but it is going so slow. Sloth mood today. Anyway, when you go over to order status, it's going to show um, three buckets and it's going to show uh, basically reviewing artwork. And then after they have reviewed the artwork, they will send you a PDF file for approval. After you've approved the PDF file, if you like it and if you don't, you can basically decline it and submit different artwork or give you them your thoughts around what you basically don't like about it um, and after you settle on that and you've approved your artwork then it goes into printing mode and after printing mode then it is basically shipped out and again for these boxes it is going to take a little over a month for you to get them so basically keep that in mind um, but yeah, this, I like you printing again. I get my thank you cards from them, my banners from when I'm going to market and you know, it's really a great company and for, you know, the, the marketing materials such as the, the cards, the business cards, you can basically choose different materials that you want for those. And for me, I really, really love, um, that kind of silken texture um and so i try to choose that and then i like the high gloss uv and so basically what that is is it's raised so you get those business cards and you can actually feel the letters on the cards i really really like that so i tend to go for that as well but again you printing basically has all of your packaging needs this video is definitely not sponsored i wish it was but it's not i just wanted to show you all what i use for packaging and then there's a different company i actually wanted to show you and they you can customize your boxes but this company is amazing they work with some of the very very larger um, large brands and they have the ability to create basically your dream packaging box. They are definitely on a different level. So you want to wait to work with them. Um, unless you have the budget, of course, and you're new starting out and you just got all these coins to go forward and, and you know, do something this professional or not saying that you printing is not professional, but this is like top of the line but this is an amazing company they can help you with your packaging they have all kinds of resources different videos to show you their work um, you can work with a specialist and create that perfect box for um, your products and they're just amazing like I just really love the company I've already been in contact with them and it's I mean they're phenomenal um, again, like I said, it's going to end up costing you more because this is way more customizable. You're working with some professionals who can really get the job done and create your vision and make it come to life. Um, and you know, once you get to that point, if you're not already at that point, definitely check out, um, the Taylor box company because they are an amazing company to work with and their work is amazing. Um, so yeah. That's what I had to share with you today. Hopefully this video has helped you out and you're able to go in and create some amazing work that you've customized on your own. Um, would love to see some of your finished products. And if you have any questions or anything like that, definitely, as always, feel free to reach out. Send me an email, comment in the um, description box below. And I will definitely try to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. So again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all. So that was simple, right? Just going through you printing, figuring out what it is that you want to create, having your dimensions in order, 
as far as what size candle cards do you want what size do you want your boxes to be figuring out your graphics is super super easy i created both of these designs using um you printing it was super easy the hardest part for me was just thinking about how do i want this to look that was it how do i want this to look what do i want for it to say strategically with the candles you know this is a corrugated mailer box um i wanted it to have my logo on the front i wanted it to say that it was hand poured i wanted it to say you know it can be recycled and then it has my website on the back so as this is being transported throughout the mail people will see this and some will be curious and some will just be like whatever you know <laughs> But I created these boxes because it is a marketing tool. It's not only a shipper box, but it is a marketing tool. And the same for these. When I ship out a beard kit, you see this box, you see all of my social media information, you know, and people are curious. It looks nice, it looks good. And I did all of these designs using Canva. And then I just transferred everything over to Uprinting and created my boxes. Um, I created my candle care cards on Uprinting, my thank you cards for my uh, beard kits and my beard products. Um, as far as my bottle labeling, I did my beard um, products bottle labeling on Avery.com. And then, as far as you know, because I've already done a video on it, I create my own candle labels because I couldn't find anything to match the aesthetic that I was kind of going for. Um, with this being a luxury brand, I wanted that textured type of label and I've not been able to find that. Um, so, I just wanted to show you all really quick how I create these because I've gotten a lot of questions about you know what to do where to start where do you go how to do it um and so hopefully this video helped you just to see you know what my process is and you'll be able to create something really nice for your product as well again as you begin to grow in business and create more sales and all of that good stuff you'll then probably move on from doing this stuff yourself unless it looks really great i think I will keep these. I don't want to do these over. I think they look really nice. They're sturdy and it works. As far as my candle packaging, I will be going with Taylor Box Company to help me with that. Um, and I may create a different sort of shipper, but more to come on that, you know. But I mean, whatever works for you, whatever works for your budget, you printing is a great option. Again, the more you order, the cheaper it is. So also think about that. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. And I hope this video really helped you all um, and you're able to use you printing or if you find something else that you think is better, let me know because for now, this is what I'm using and the shipping costs can be quite expensive. And again, the lead times are quite long. Um, five weeks, uh, 25 business days, you know, it, it can be long, but if you time your products properly, you know, it, it won't really matter too much because once you're getting ready to rent out, you know, I sell these many candles per week. These many are single box candles and I'm going to run out maybe in five weeks. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that order now. So when I run out in five weeks, I'll have a shipment coming in. And they may surprise you and get it in sooner than five weeks, but we don't know. So we all, always just have to plan for that. Um, so again, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was a little bit long, but we had to go through that process. Um, so stay tuned for the next video and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I know I am. It's hot in Chicago finally. So I'm excited to get out and do some things. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye loves.